Welcome back to AP Chemistry. I'm Jeremy Krug and we're continuing with lesson two and we're continuing with nomenclature. And there's a special class of compounds th th that we want to spend a little time on today. And these are acids, naming acids. Now, in case you've forgotten from uh, first year chemistry, acids are uh, compounds. And when they're inorganic acids, and these are the acids we're talking about in this class here, they have formulas that normally begin with hydrogen. And so in order to name these, you want to focus on the anion that follows the hydrogen. Okay, so it's always going to be hydrogen and then something else after it. And when you look at the name of that anion, the something else after the hydrogen, based upon the suffix of that anion, you're going to change it and then put the word acid at the end. And so let me show you what I'm talking about here. So there are three suffixes that anions can have. They can have the suffix ide, I-D-E, eight, A-T-E, or it, I-T-E. And if it ends with ide, you're going to drop the ide and put hydro on the beginning and ic on the end. If it has eight, you're going to drop the eight and put ic on the end. And if it has it, you're going to drop the it and put us on the end. We have a few examples here, but let's do some examples together so you can see how this works in, uh, in real life. So let's start with this one here. We have HC2H3O2. So once again, we're going to uh, kind of ignore the H for the, for the time being and focus just on the anion, just on that. Okay, and the name of that, I hope you all know, is acetate. Okay, now acetate, it has an eight as its suffix, so we're going to drop that A-T-E, and we're going to put ic on the end. So it's acetic acid. Okay, eight changes to ic. Let's try another example, HF. So once again, we're just focusing on the name of the F, and that anion is fluoride. It ends with I-D-E. So remember, the rule is if it ends with I-D-E, we drop the I-D-E, we put hydro on the beginning, and ic on the end. So that's going to become hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid, which happens to be quite a nasty acid. As we know, it, it not only, uh, it actually eats glass, uh, it dissolves glass, it's used in art for etching, but it also uh, eats people too, it's, it's actually quite toxic, in fact, extremely toxic to people. Take a look at H2SO3. The SO3 is what we're looking at, and we know that is called the sulfite ion. So we drop the ite, and put ic, I'm sorry, not ic, we put us on the end. So it becomes us, O-U-S. And that, we might expect it to become sulfus acid, but it's actually sulfurous acid. For sulfur and phosphorus containing acids, they throw that extra little syllable in there. I guess they figure it doesn't sound as bad if we do that. So sulfurous acid, you've heard of sulfuric acid kind of the, the same way there. H3PO4. Speaking of that, we have PO4, which is called phosphate. And if we have 8, we drop the 8 and replace it with ic. So it's, is it phosphic? Well, we just said for the phosphorus acids, we add the little extra syllable there, so it becomes phosphoric acid. Now, phosphoric acid is uh, a fairly strong acid. It's actually found in Coca-Cola. So if you look at the ingredients there, you'll find that phosphoric acid is uh, an ingredient there. Here's the last example I have for us today, HCN. Once again, we're going to focus on just the, just the anion. And its name is cyanide. And we take the IDE ending off, and we put hydro on the beginning, and ic on the end, right? Because that's what you do if it's IDE. So it becomes hydrocyanic 
acid. Okay, hydrocyanic acid. So here are a few examples with naming acids. And if you're writing the formulas, it's pretty much like writing the formula of an ionic compound. You may have to swap the charges sometimes, as you see here. We have some, some twos and threes in there. I hope you learned about how to name acids. If you found this video at least somewhat useful, please give me a thumbs up. So uh, YouTube will share these videos with some other students who might need some chemistry help. And I hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Join me again where we can learn some more AP Chemistry together.